welcome back programmers in the today's section i am gonna show you how to use if else and for loop condition in single line so the usage of the single line if else and for loop is to minimize your code and create the clean code and obviously create a smart work now if you go for interview and interviewer ask a question create a for loop or if else condition so if you add this method in your code so you are gonna create a big impression so let's begin how we can do this first we are gonna see how you can create this single line for loop and for that i'm gonna create f equal to a list Whenever you want to create a single line for loop, you have to use a list. Now, if you know Linux programming, so you know how this work. You have to create a variable i, or you can name it anything, and then create the for loop for i in a range of let's say 0 to 20. So obviously, it is gonna create a number 0 to 20, and all of this container or this range value is gonna store in this i. So in here you can see whenever I print f you can see I got this number because I print f. Now that we know how to use for loop now let's talk about if else condition let's say equal to 10 and b equal to 5. So I am gonna print a 5 or you can say b if a greater than b else obviously else I'm gonna print a so now let's run you can see I got the 5 because I create a statement if B is lesser than a it means a greater than B print B else print a now let's change the value of a B so let's try 50 so whenever I'm gonna run this you can see I got 10 because now the condition is else because a is not greater than B so that's why this is printing a and again you can create any condition in here if you wanna do like this equal to equal to or any condition you can do in here now how to use if else condition in single line for loops let's try let's say f equal to let's first try only if condition in single line for loop so i'm storing i for i in range of 0 to 20 but if i module 2 equal to equal to 0 so on so pre return i else return nothing you can see again for i in range of 0 to 21 it is gonna create the range of 20 but if i module 2 equal to equal to 0 it means i divided by 2 equal to equal to 0 sorry module equal to equal to 0 so on so return i else return nothing so now let's see the output you can see i got 0 2 4 6 8 10 12 40 16 and 18 so you got all of the even number now you can create any condition in here like if i less than equal to 0 or whatever condition you want to add in here now that you know how to use single line for loop and if condition now let's talk about how to use if and else condition now again you can do is these two if you want to find odd and even number so you can do like this too you can create two variable and create the two for loop in a single line let's say o for o in range of 0 to 10 if o module 2 equal to equal to 1 but if e module 2 equal to equal to 1 and again i am create the e for e in range of 0 to 10 just like o which means odd and which means e1 and then i simply just print the odd and e1 but you can see i just created this comma in here and create another list for e1 number this is the single line but you can see now you can see this is the single line you can see i got one three five seven and nine and oops i got a problem in here I have to add 0 in here now let's try you can see I got 1 3 5 7 9 and 0 2 4 6 8 so that's how we can create the odd and even number but where we can use the else condition in this statement so let's use the if and else and follow in a single line let's create x equal to, oops let's try a equal to x we are returning the x if if x module 2 equal to equal to 0 else we are returning x module 2 equal to equal to 1 and then we are creating the 4 x in range of 0 to 10 you can see we got 0 true 
2 true 4 true 6 true 8 true now we got 0 because if x modulo 2 equal to equal to 0 and so on so it is returning 0 now you can see we got the true value because else condition is returning something true or false and that's the way you can use the if and else condition but you can see we are returning the both value in here now let's use this function or you can say single line if and else and for condition again you can see i just add a equal to find b equal to 10 a i'm returning a if if and if only a less than b else we are returning the b for x in range of 0 to 10 now let's change the a value let's say 50 you can see every time this loop run it is returning 10 because now a is not less than b so this is returning b so that's how you can use the single line if else and for loop in your python code to minimize code and smart work and impress programmer with your shorthand codes so that is it for today's guys in the next video i'm gonna show you how you can use the iterable and generator in this for loop so that is it for today's guys see you guys in the next video till then like my video subscribe my channel share this video to other programmer hit on the bell icon so you'll never miss my these interesting videos so see you guys in the next video till then just code